So you want to be a pimp, huh? Well, the days of making felony money off of misdemeanor crime is long over with. Nowadays, pimping is considered human trafficking. What is human trafficking, you may ask? Human trafficking, plain and simple, is modern-day slavery by force, fraud, coercion, or manipulation for the purpose of exploiting the vulnerable to gain free labor. And the war on human trafficking is fought by Homeland Security, along with local, state, and federal authorities, including the FBI. Currently, the American mainstream media has made the black man the face of modern-day human trafficking, making him public enemy number one. Therefore, the current punishments for human trafficking has been far more severe than any other crime to date. In 2017, you can literally get less time for murder than you can for human trafficking. Let that digest for a minute. Now, do you still want to be a pimp? If so, I've compiled a list of outcomes for some guys who chose the same career path. These are just 10 examples of 10 pimps convicted on pimping and human trafficking over the past 10 years. This list is too real for TV. A too real for TV exclusive. 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 When police searched the Chula Vista home of Darren Hilton in February 2006, they found training books and videotapes on how to become a pimp. His desire to be a pimp, snatching young girls and forcing them into prostitution, landed this Chula Vista man a prison sentence that will likely keep him behind bars for the rest of his life. In February 2008, 28-year-old Darren Hilton was sentenced to 77 years and four months in life to prison for sexually assaulting four teenagers he had targeted to work for him on the streets. Two girls ages 14 and 16 acted like they were going to work and escaped when he took them to work in National City and contacted the police. In 2008, a 34-year-old Arizona man named Mark Anthony Howard a.k.a. Lalo, was sentenced to 139 years in prison for pimping young girls. According to court records, Howard kept at least five girls, two of them younger than 15, whom he tattooed with his street name, Lalo. Not a good idea. He made so much money from the girls, he bought a half a million dollar home in Levine and several motor vehicles. He was found guilty of 30 counts of various felonies. In April 2012, a young woman took the stand to testify against a man who forced her to become a prostitute at the age of 12. She explained to the judge how it felt to have Daquan Sawyer, aka P. Chow, take brutal and complete control over her. Brand her with a tattoo and force her to walk the track as a child prostitute. After her testimony, the dramatic three hour sentencing culminated with a stunning punishment. 50 years in federal prison, believed to be the toughest ever handed down to a convicted sex trafficker in Chicago's federal court history. No culture worth emulation would tolerate this, U.S. District Judge Charles Kokakra said. We don't let you do this to our children. In April 2012, a 45-year-old man named Derek Avery, who gained fame in movies and television as Pimp Snooky, was sentenced to 20 years in prison in federal court in Milwaukee. Snooky prostituted scores of women and girls in cities from Milwaukee to Los Angeles for at least 16 years, according to federal prosecutors. He pled guilty in November to two felonies, including sex trafficking of a child by use of force, fraud, and coercion. The prosecutor stated Snooky's case was by far the most horrific, the most brutal of the seven prosecuted by the U.S. Attorney's Office in recent years. In one case, Avery beat the girl when she told him she did not want to move to Las Vegas. He made a phone call and offered someone $2,800 to kill her father. He beat her with several items, including a wooden broomstick, which broke. Girls that worked for Snooky were as young as 14 years old.
In November 2012, in the sin city of Las Vegas, Judge Michael Villian sentenced Ocean Fleming, a.k.a. O, to life in prison for first-degree kidnapping, one of 23 counts a jury convicted him on. The life sentence will begin after Fleming serves at least 10 years behind bars for other counts, such as pandering, coercion with force, and assault with a deadly weapon. You need to blame yourself, Judge Villian told Fleming. Your arrogance got you in this mess. You preyed upon women with low self-esteem. You manipulated them. Part of Fleming's convictions was contributing to online messages retrieved off Facebook between Ocean and the victims. And a phone call made by a victim to the police was recorded during a violent confrontation between Fleming and the screaming victim. None of the victims in Fleming's case were underage and he still received a life sentence. In 2011, a 48-year-old Raymond Sharp, a.k.a. R.C., was arrested after an incident which a partially nude woman was seen looking for help fleeing from Sharp's home. After contacting Sharp, police found the woman was one of a new number of prostitutes being pandered by Sharp. Police arrested Sharp on charges including living with a prostitute, first-degree kidnapping, and domestic battery, amongst other charges. None of the women were underage. Sharp was ultimately convicted of 19 counts and sentenced to three life sentences in prison without the possibility of parole. That's right, three life sentences. Metro Police said the convictions and sentences should send a clear message to pimps in Southern Nevada. Whoa. Now, if that was not enough, later on, Raymond Sharp was entered into the history books for being the first pimp in Nevada history to be sued by a former prostitute and she won a $4.1 million judgment. In July of 2013, law enforcement arrested a 26-year-old Dallas man, Torian Jackson, aka Marvelous Rich, in Louisiana for human trafficking a 16-year-old girl. Marvelous Rich was arrested in Louisiana Hotel by undercover officers with the Jefferson Parish Sheriff Department after they responded to an online ad. Records show Jackson beat the victim with an extension cord and threatened her if she tried to leave him. He pled guilty and was sentenced to 22 years in federal prison. In May of 2015, 34-year-old Las Vegas man, Lenny Paul Haskins, a.k.a. Too Much, pled guilty to prostituting teenage girls in Reston, Herndon, and other parts of Northern Virginia, and was sentenced to 40 years in federal prison. Authorities said in June 2014, Haskins encountered two teens at a hotel near Sacramento, California. The girls, ages 15 and 17, were runaways from foster care. Haskin provided marijuana and eventually recruited them to prostitute for him. Once he recruited them, Haskins performed sex acts with the girls, officials said. In August 2014, Haskins instructed the victims to take a bus to Herndon for the purpose of being prostituted there. Haskins arranged for the advertisements to be posted on the internet site Backpage.com to obtain sex customers for the juveniles to make money for them. In May 2016, Andre Antonio Adams, age 33, aka Chicago, was sentenced to a devastating 330 years in Arizona prison. Damn! Adams caused two 15-year-old girls to engage in prostitution. Detectives assigned to the Greater Phoenix Area Human Trafficking Task Force became aware of the two female victims in the case through advertisements posted on Backpage.com. After contacting the girls, investigators learned the two were 15 years old and listed as runaways. When interviewed, the girls stated they worked as prostitutes for a pimp known as Chicago, who knew both of their age because they told them. Chicago rented hotel rooms for them to have sex with men for money, and he promised them protection and marijuana. The two victims identified Chicago in a photo lineup.
In March of 2016, a brave young girl at the age of 16 took the stand to testify against a man that held her captive as a 15-year-old runaway. He charged a string of men money to have sex with her. He bragged about her like a trophy and kept her high on heroin while a parade of men came to his home to have sex with her for money. The 54-year-old East Waco, Texas pimp named Andre Renor Evans received his punishment of 12 life sentences. In April 2016, LaRon Carter, also known as Pimpin' Bird, 39 years old, was found guilty by a federal jury in Los Angeles. Following a five-day trial, the jury convicted Carter of seven counts of sex trafficking of a minor by force, fraud or coercion, and seven counts of transporting a child to engage in prostitution. The evidence at the trial showed that Mr. Carter bragged about being a pimp and that he forced girls through violence and coercion to sell their bodies for his profit, said United States Attorney Eli M. Decker. One of his victims was only 13 years old. Pimpin Bird was sentenced to 40 years in federal prison. Now, although I have stated that the black man has become the face of human trafficking, please do not believe the human trafficking laws discriminate against race. In August of 2016, a Greeley, Denver man was convicted of human trafficking and pimping several underage girls among other felonies. 33-year-old Paul Berman, aka Halo, was convicted on 32 criminal counts, including pimping adults and one girl as young as 15 years old. Halo was sentenced to 248 years to life in prison. This is the largest human trafficking sentence in Colorado history. God damn. So after watching all that, do you still have the heart to jumpstart your pimping? I hope I scared you straight. Now please be a good Samaritan and share this with everyone you know, including a few strangers. And if you know anyone doing anything with an underage child, please be a real friend and tell him to send that kid home and go get a job or try a legal hustle. You can help save a man's life before it's too late. Trust me, I know. I've saved a few. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more educational videos packed with news you can use that are too real for TV. Like my short films, exclusive interviews, and public service announcements that just may save your life. Also, hit the bell next to the subscribe button and get notified when I'm doing my live podcast. I'm also available for speaking engagements on the topics like this that are too real for TV. From corporate boardrooms and college campuses to kids' classrooms or personal one-on-ones. Let's work together to save some lives. Consider me the OG your OG should be. Thank me by visiting my website and purchasing all my films on DVD and digital download for instant viewing. And grab some fresh too real for TV apparel and merchandise. Hoodies, backpacks, skateboards, we fully loaded loved one. And a generous donation is truly appreciated and always welcome on my channel and GoFundMe page so I can keep doing my job. Love you all. Be cool and careful. I'm Michael Maroy, 2RealForTV.com. Too real for TV.com.